I'm Kelsey Campbell and this is the New Hampshire's Weekly Report for the week of March 11th. Sophomore Cameron Cook and junior Ryan Grogan were named the next UNH student body president and vice president on Saturday at the MUB. Voting polls were open on Wildcat Link from Monday to Thursday last week. The duo's strategy of attaining signatures early on, compiling videos, and campaigning as much as possible paid off when they dominated the race with a total tally of 627 votes. Cook plans to get to work immediately after taking office on May 1st by meeting with leaders of student organizations to develop what he calls the Student Strategic Plan. Cook explains that this plan is similar to the university's strategic plan but with more of a student-oriented flavor. With the heaps of snow finally melting down, it's time to take a look at the university's coffee intake quotas. Regardless of the record-breaking temperatures and massive amounts of snow, it seems that the majority of campers prefer their coffee iced. Dunkin' Donuts in the MUB explained that even in the coldest winter months, they sold triple the amounts of iced coffee than hot. Aroma Joe's on Main Street agrees, saying they're always feeding the iced coffee craze. Breaking new grounds on Main Street, however, is known for their imported coffee beans and therefore feeds more of the hot coffee lovers. It seems that typical New Englanders prefer their coffee iced, regardless of the weather. The University of New Hampshire has just opened registration for their 2015 camps, which includes various programs for kids in kindergarten through 12th grade. These camps offer a variety of programs, including water activities, arts, and academic enrichment. The programs have access to most UNH facilities and also take various trips to nearby places such as the Seacoast area. Instructors of the camps are primarily UNH faculty and staff members. Campers are a variety of New Hampshire natives as well as kids from all over New England. The camps are so popular that some programs fill up within hours, so be sure to check them out. That does it for this week's report. Thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for more news next week. Signing off, I'm Kelsey Campbell. Have a great week, UNH.